Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be reviewing Supergirl Season 3, Episode 7, entitled Wake Up. So we're going to be going over the episode, breaking some stuff down, talking about some plot and character in this episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos this year. So with Monel returning, we're going to be having a lot of Monel videos, so this is going to be mainly Monel and Rain strictly in this video. I'm not really going to talk about the Jean stuff in this episode because really it wasn't too important and yeah so this episode overall as a whole was an excellent episode I still prefer the Minvale episode just because it was a really fun episode and I really really enjoyed the whole performance and everything around it but this episode was very crucial to the story and I'm so happy that Monel was back but at the same time I'm sort of heartbroken but I'll talk more about that later so I'm just quickly going to include a Stardust reaction guys because I said in yesterday's Monel video that I will include it in today's review so I'm going to be showing two reactions one at the end of the video and one right now. So if you want to be featured in any of my videos, all you need to do is download the Stardust app, use the link in the description below to actually download it on your phone. It's really easy. You can just do live reactions straight after you've watched an episode of say Supergirl. And then all you need to do is tag me at the DC TV show and you could possibly be in one of my videos. And this is a thing that I'm going to start to add into some of my videos. Here's a reaction from Gabby. So in this episode, Manal returns and he returns with this woman named Imra, which after kissing her in front of Kara, he tells her that Imra is his wife. I felt so heartbroken by the fact that he's now married and Kara had to see that. She, I understand that Monel probably felt lonely in that sense, but I don't think that's how Kara deserved to find out that Monel was married. I think he should have been straight up with her and talked to her because that's what girls like. In this episode, at the start, they find Monel stuck in a pod, and he's inside, and he's got out of his capsule, and there's some people still in there. So I think they mentioned that there's four other people, so I'm pretty sure there was six pods or something, and Imra was in one, and Monel was in the other, and the other guys haven't woken up. I'm guessing that these people are the Legion of Superheroes, so they're just a few members, and potentially we might see them, but I don't actually think we'll see them, because I think they were more used as MacGuffins to actually introduce Imra, who is actually Saturn Girl. So I'm very excited about Saturn Girl. She's confirmed to be from Titan, which is Saturn's moon. So if you guys didn't know that in the comics, she's actually from Titan. So I'm very excited for Saturn Girl because that's her comic book name. And I'm guessing with Monel actually being able to fight and he's obviously had an upgrade in skills, I'm guessing he's already part of the Legion of Superheroes. And I think they're coming back for a mission to take out Rain because we know they're from 10,000 years in the future. So they time travel back in time and obviously something went wrong because they got stuck underground and they've actually been under there for about 12,000 years so that's a long time and they're in hyper sleep so that's how they were actually able to survive so if you guys have seen Alien it's a bit like that they actually go into hyper sleep and they sleep for hundreds of years but obviously this is a bit extended this is 12,000 years so it sets up a lot of stuff and also in this episode we get a lot of rain stuff I really enjoyed the rain part of this episode because we got to meet her stepmom we got to find out that she's actually from Krypton so we actually sort of knew it but we never actually got told face to face and Samantha actually got told in this episode that she's actually from Krypton so she was found in the pod that we saw at the end of season 2 so she finds out that she's actually a well killer she's like I have powers am I a superhero and then one of her makers actually tells her that no, you're going to be known as a world killer and you are called Rain. So you were supposed to turn into this Rain villain a long time ago and Rain supreme on whatever planet you actually landed on. So it was actually delayed by her actually being able to have offspring and that offspring obviously is Kryptonian and probably part human. So I'm guessing Ruby is going to play into her story somehow later in the season, just due to the fact that she's half Kryptonian and half human. So I don't know how they're actually going to explain Ruby, but I'm very intrigued as to her reaction to finding out that her mum is actually going to be this really 
evil villain. And at the end of the episode, we see that Samantha actually turns into rain and she starts speaking Kryptonian and her eyes actually turn red. So it seems like she's going to be very sinister. And I think she's going to be the best Supergirl villain that we've had to this day. And to be honest, she's the best big bad of all the DC TV shows right now, I would say. And she looks like a very promising villain, much more than say the thinker or anyone. So she looks very sinister. So moving on to some more Monel stuff. So obviously Monel returns and it's revealed that he can speak Saturnian or at least he can speak a little bit and throughout the episode there's hints that Saturn Girl is actually going to be coming if you connect the dots and stuff with mon actually speaking Saturnian and with him not actually wanting to be straight back with Kara because if he literally went to space and he came back as his normal self he would actually really want to be back with Kara so that was probably the biggest hint that we actually got that he's not himself and by the end of the episode Kara actually realizes that mon is changed and it's revealed that he was actually in the 31st century for seven years. So they actually made that time period a long enough time to actually make it viable that he would actually have a wife. And it turns out that Imra is actually married to him. But one thing I have to mention, and I'm going to do a separate video for this, is Imra and Monel aren't wearing rings. Like... It's a bit weird, and Amy Jackson, the actor for Imra, actually commented on it. I'll have a picture on the screen right now of what she said. She said that there's a lot of stuff to come, and it will be explained. So she's sorry that Caramel is not together right now, but it seems like they're taking the long journey back to Caramel coming back. And just because he's married doesn't mean they're actually not going to come back. Remember, it's the CW. Anything can happen to do with relationships. So when Imra actually meets Supergirl for the first time, she speaks to Supergirl as if she is some sort of legend. So remember... She's from 10,000 years in the future or so. So Supergirl obviously will probably be dead by now. And Supergirl is probably this massive figure in the past. And I'm sure she's actually worshipped. She has some statues. You know, things to commemorate what she actually did. Because she was one of the first superheroes on Earth 38 apart from Superman. So I have full confidence that they actually were inspired by Supergirl in the past. And they became a superhero team in the future when they actually were inspired to actually begin that. So I'm very excited for the Legion to be coming. So hopefully mon actually has a superhero suit. I'm not sure if he bring it with him. He probably didn't. And maybe when Brainiac 5 actually comes in episode 10 in the episode titled Legion of Superheroes, maybe he will bring some superhero suits to them. Because if they're superhero, I'm sure they have a superhero suit. So I'm very excited for mon to be back. Even though I was sobbing when mon actually revealed that he was married to Imra, I heard all the rumors before and everything. But, you know, the reality hit and I was just in shock and I'm I'm still in shock but I'm very excited for Saturn Girl because she's an awesome character in the comics and you know the character development comes first and I think they're playing the long game for the Caramel relationship so I'm very excited for Imra Monel and Rain looks so promising she definitely looks like a very menacing villain and Odette Animal does an awesome job playing Samantha she's going to be an awesome villain when she's actually playing Rain so here is the last reaction on That's Stardust so, Manel has a wife, um, no, the only wife he deserves to have is, the only wife he can have is Kara. Who is this evil bitch, and why is she there? But I loved it. So, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, please leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Shut